Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Busted Knuckle Garage here. What is that, Neon Channel? Today, I just wanted to bring you a better quality video now that I got my, uh, my better video camera. This is the SRT swap. Figure I'd give you all a video tour. I'm not gonna do a startup because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, I just figured I'd show you around it. So, what we got here is a, a 95. Uh, two door first gen neon with a full roll cage. I did a full SRT4 spot, wiring harness, everything. Come on, clear it. I get the focus. They have a uh, turbinetics blow off valve. Sounds beautiful. We did a pretty good wire tuck on this. Well, I did a pretty good wire tuck on this. It's stock turbo right now because. It's got a fully built bottom in and I just want to break it in before I put the big turbo on there. But it's a good. And here's the manifold for the big turbo. It's an AR60. There's a downpipe for it. Dump tube. Big injectors. Um, Anyways, it has a more speed motor mount. Cost me about a hundred dollars. Solid front mount, the field. Solid AGP trans mount. Um, booger bushings and the shifter. We got a factory tuned sway bar. Just a tighten up that front suspension. We just put the air motor fuel pressure regulator in here and a Russell fuel filter with all stainless lines. Spool boy mod with a fuel return. We're running full synthetic roll purple engine oil and full synthetic roll purple transmission fluid in this still have to order a aluminum radiator for it that's coming soon and a big front mount but right now we got the stock SRT4 intercooler we have some 17 inch rooms with the SRT4 front brake conversion and hub conversion so it's stronger We'll get cool over soon. We got three inch downpipe. Sounds beautiful. Oh, again, I'll make another video of it running. We got uh, progressive, uh, not progressive, ST sway bars. Big ass green sway bar going across. We have one for the rear too. It's not installed yet, it's still in the trunk. The interior is full SRT4 leather interior here. I have a fiberglass trunk, which is pretty cool. It's about a centimeter thick. Full fiberglass trunk. There's the rear. ST sway bar with polyurethane bushings. Here's your awesome roll cage. Legit. We got the uh, good size matter sticker. Sticker. Keep calm and hold on. See if we can get a good uh, view of this interior. 
They have the uh, SRT4 steering wheel. Let's see, let me get a light on the one here for you guys. SRT4 seats that are mint. We have a Mad Dog short throw shifter. We have an AEM wideband and a uh, auto meter boost gauge. SRT4 cluster, SRT4 steering wheel, SRT4 center console. I would love to do an SRT dash, just not gonna. Again, here's your full roll cage. I mean, race car, my friends, race car. Uh, we also did the SRT4 rear brake conversion. Right now, I'm putting extended lug nuts, and we're putting neutral slapper on it because these ones just I feel like want to be replaced. Um, we got a carbon fiber hood, which is needs to be cleared, but with the carbon fiber hood, here's my O3 Jigsaw. 600. What almost killed me and broke my back? Not really. Ali tried to. I didn't. It didn't try to kill me. I started to paint it blue, but I think we're gonna go back black again. Just to mosh it here. But uh, that's the uh, the 95 Sport Coupe SRT4 swapped first in the uh, soon. Uh, you all get to see what she does. She's also got a manual brake setup, which is pretty cool. Set up a booster like an old truck. No heat, no AC, nothing. This is a basic engine, transmission, turbo setup car. No accessories. Um, put a like if you like this video. Put a thumbs up. Be sure, sure be sure to subscribe. And uh, let me know what you all want to see. I mean, I'm trying to do something here, and just let me know.